Hey, do I want to talk to myself and use strategically placed cuts to make it look like I'm two different people for comedic effect? Nope. Oh. Hey, do you want to check out this new headphone stand? If it doesn't light up, it doesn't belong on or around my desk. Speaking of which... But, it's from Corsair. Go on. Razer released an RGB headphone stand. Corsair, always aiming to outshine the competition, released an RGB headphone stand of their own. The ST100 is super solid, made primarily of aluminum with a rubber base so you can be certain this thing won't slide around if you get some water on the deck. The mast stands about 250mm tall and rocks these edges so your headphones don't slide off if it's not all smooth sailing and what I'm going to call the anchor measures about 115 by 115. The package is simple, including only the headphone stand and a 1.8 meter rubber-coated USB to micro-B cable for power and data that plugs into the stern of the unit. What? Data? If you thought this thing's only job was to handle your cans or hold your cups or hoist your sails, you've got another thing coming. A few other things, actually. The headphone stand has a built-in USB hub with two 3.1 ports, one on top of the base and one to the device's starboard side. There are no ports on the port. I'm confusing myself. Power cable in the back, one USB port on top, one USB port on the right, and no ports on the left. Neighboring the side port, you'll find a 3.5mm headphone jack. Corsair didn't let go of jack. In fact, they added a DAC. This is my second favorite feature of the stand. If you own Corsair's Void headsets, you already have access to Q and its preset audio curves. If you don't, you can plug your headphones into here and appropriate the booty. Now, since any headphones using the 3.5mm connector will work here, your experience will vary. For my reference, I will be using the AKG K7XX headphones, since they're the closest cans I have to an even sound signature. Peer Direct is the default, leaving your curves very uncurvy. The bass boost feature with the K7XX cans was amazing. They did not drop the ball here, but definitely the bass. The movie theater preset hits all the right marks for action movies or horrors. There's a bit of bass boosting for the high tension scenes and some emphasis on the mids so voices stand out a little bit more. You know those movies where the characters speak so quietly that you have to turn your volume all the way up, but then all of a sudden jump scare! And then your ears are bleeding and your eyes have fallen out of your head? Yeah. Thanks, sound guy. This... doesn't fix that problem. But it helps a little. I can't speak for other movie genres because I'm a fairly one-dimensional individual when it comes to media consumption, but you can probably take an educated guess based on what I've said so far. FPS competition mode boosts a lot of the mids, which makes those ambient sounds much easier to catch. I don't play shooters too often, but I do like my horror elements, and the extra details definitely help in being a coward. And finally, Clear Chat gives a healthy boost to all those talking tones, so you can hear all your raid members complain about how I suck, how you suck. Yeah. What? I'm fine. I'm good at games. If none of that sounded impressive to you, don't worry. You have the freedom of customizing your own curves. Still not wowed? Corsair software also allows you to toggle virtual 7.1 surround sound on your headphones that may otherwise not have it. It's not perfect, directions like front and back can still be a little hard to discern, but left, right, and diagonals were on point. Still not impressed? Well, let me try to brighten your day with my obviously favorite feature. It's got 8 RGB LEDs in the base and 1 in the neck. And who doesn't appreciate a sexy neck? Let us RGB begin. You get access to Spiral Rainbow, the RGB effect to rule them all. Rainbow Wave, which is virtually the equivalent in that status. Visor, to simulate the swinging of the boom. Corsair is going to get sick of all my distasteful pirate ship jokes eventually. Color Shift, where you can transition between two colors or all colors randomly with speed control. Color Pulse, sporting the same options. Color Wave, for the slow seas. Static Color, where you do have the option to individually address the LEDs by clicking and setting the color one at a time clicking and dragging, or holding control and clicking. And Lighting Link to synchronize your Corsair peripherals. Within Lighting Link, you get Spiral Rainbow. Rainbow Wave, which is pretty much the same as before, but with everything at the same time. Visor for cleaning that ship right up. Wax on, wax off. Rain for the stormy seas. Color Shift, which should be fairly self-explanatory at this point. Color Pulse, which should also be fairly self-explanatory at this point. Color Wave, which should also, also be fairly self-explanatory at this point, I'm running out of things to say. And finally, Type Lighting Ripple, for when you want to type up a storm. 
There is an advanced mode, but I explained that in my Corsair Utility Engine 2 tutorial linked in the card up top. It's an older version of Q2.0, but the functionality and tutorial remain mostly the same. Finally, as an added bonus, your Corsair RGB keyboard will also have access to the Void Playback Visualizer as well as the Void Microphone Visualizer effects. That is correct. If you've got a headset with the 3.5mm connection and it's got a microphone, it runs straight through this thing too. That being said, you do have access to control your microphone volume through the software. This thing is really cute. But there are some things I find less cute. One thing I can't stand is the part that actually holds the headphones. The little arm has 90 degree edges and that's not a cute at all. That's a triple pun and I'm proud of it. Headsets like Corsair's Void Pro have a really nice foam padding around the headband and the sharp edges kind of mold the foam into that shape which is fine if you live in a pineapple under the sea, but otherwise, not so much. Unless Corsair thinks I'm a blockhead. If you've got good quality headphones, you most likely won't have to worry about long-term deformation, but I've seen cheaper products lose their sponginess relatively quickly. A rounded arm would have made more sense in my opinion. The USB port on top of the anchor bit is parallel to the mast. I think it would have done better perpendicular or closer to the front, since higher profile USB devices can kind of bump into the headphones. And while we're on the topic of things getting plugged in, the included USB cable isn't braided, but honestly, that's not really a big deal to me since the thing kind of hangs a little further back and the cable stays relatively out of sight. Speaking of USB, USB headsets do not get to use Q's curves. They apply only to what plugs into the 3.5mm jack to use the DAC. Regarding that DAC, it's only a DAC. It's not really an amp, so if you've got high impedance headphones, you may want to pick up something else for a bit more boosting. Another convenience factor I would have liked to see is side tone. It's a feature present on Corsair's Void headsets that allows you to monitor your own voice as you speak, but you don't get that luxury here. And while we're talking about convenience, I, and I imagine a lot of other people, like to keep their headphones within arm's reach. Having a button on the headphone stand to switch the audio profile or allowing us to bind that to a macro would be great. The Void headsets have a dedicated button for this, so it's no problem there, but my other headphones do not. The next thing is a visual peeve and it's somewhat minor, but I keep all my audio stuff generally to my left side. It makes sense, since most headsets have the wire come out of the left ear cup and no one likes crossed cables. I imagine Corsair agrees to some extent, since they put a USB port and the headphone jack on the ST100's right. However, if you go into Q and Q to lies their lighting link effect, the lighting direction indicates the thing should be positioned to your right. If Corsair could let us adjust our peripheral position in Q, that'd be real swell. Another point to poke at, Corsair's logo is among my favorite. Ever. It's simple and it looks nice. It's not too different here, but upon closer inspection, you'll find that the sails are connected, as if someone drew them, but didn't lift the writing utensil to fill in the next part. It's not too noticeable from farther away, but it did catch my eye when I was getting lost in the RGB. On the bright side, I didn't need a treasure map. I was already there. As a final note, and this isn't really a con, just be sure to plug your headphones in firmly. I did notice that it required a bit more force than I would have expected. So if you start listening and you notice some sound quality degradation or interruptions, check to make sure your cannons are properly loaded. The ST100 is the most impressive, simple peripheral I've ever put on my desk. The delivered sound quality is clear and virtually indistinguishable from plugging it into my dearly departed daily driver DAC, the FIO E07K. If you've already got a Void headset, the DAC and Q functionality is a bit redundant, but if not, this is definitely something to consider. You'll find that some headphone DACs can go for as low as $25, US but can easily shoot way up to $150 or more. Corsair positions the ST100 at 60, and with the customization you get with it, I'd say this is some pretty awesome booty. The lighting is just as impressive as the rest of Corsair's Armory GB, sporting vibrant LEDs with zero hotspotting distinguishable to my eye. It's not perfect, but it's definitely an extraordinary piece to me. This thing supports enough flashy LEDs to go clubbing, and a solid enough build quality to go clubbing. So that's all I have to say about that. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe, share, leave me questions if you've got them. Thanks for watching. My name is Steven, and I am a little dim. Bye-bye. USB to micro B cable for power and data that plugs into the stem of the... No, that's stern. <laughs> or hoist your sails. You've got another thing coming. Yeah, you've got another thing coming. If you thought this thing's only job was to handle your cans or hold your... To hold your cup? Yeah. Now, since any headphones using three... And finally, clear chat gives a healthy boost to all those talking tones, so you can hear all your remem... Or raid members. You get access to spiral... Spiral? Visor for cleaning that shit. Shit. Ship? I said ship. Unless Corsair thinks I'm a blockhead. I think it would have done better perpendicular or closer to the front using higher profile. Ah, I somehow skipped like three lines. The lighting is just as impressive as the rest of Corsair's Armory GB. 
that, that, that doesn't follow at all. Just as impressive as the rest of Corsairs are Marie GB, sporting... <laughs> Dude, stop biting your foot and get over here. Pay attention to me. He's looking at me like, no, you're just gonna push me off again. This is the third or fourth time I've had to redo this. Yeah, there you go. result was, I have no idea what I'm doing. Which I guess isn't wrong. I should put it on my desk. Wait a minute. I, I know, I know, wait a minute. <laughs> Relax! You can get back on in a minute. I just need to finish doing this part of the video. You don't understand me. 